Hello. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, begin uh, to react uh, um, much faster, I, I hope. Uh, this uh, up update. Um, They are so so sold to the to, to the viewer to the to the internet to the viewers view, viewers <clears throat> Oh my god I mean they 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 they, they do everything to to appeal the, the audience I know it's Halloween, but uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's always the same uh, uh, boring uh, and uh, unoriginal uh, uh, way to uh, to appeal uh, uh, the audience, making uh, Christmas trees. Uh, Halloween pumpkins without any any uh, reason or uh, link to the actual uh, video game. Uh, they have priority, and those are the pri priority. It, it seems, and I mean, just let's be clear, okay? And just see uh, with the 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 reality of of the, of the facts. Every uh, video, video game uh, um, studio that does good cinematics, uh, I'm talking about Blizzard, eh? usually uh, aren't uh, that good at making video, video games. So let's uh, start. Welcome, go, go, God. Okay, okay, this is fun. <laughs> uh, Okay, um, I mean, uh, uh, those lies are, are like the TV show, t TV shows. <laughs> they, they are made to make you, to make you, to entertain, entertain you and, uh, um, and uh, make you la laugh uh, more than actually uh, actually uh, seeing good, good, saying good things uh, in regard to the gameplay they just they um, I don't know how to say it okay <laughs> they they make shows okay they don't do actual lives uh, for uh, developing to, to develop a video game okay they are putting up shows to publicize and to do to do do some um, marketing uh, and uh, look uh, more appealing okay and more human okay they want to to look cool and human nothing bad but uh, when when you do only this it means uh, you are not doing a great uh, great job. 
Bubbles Ashes of Creation October Development Update. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice. Very, very cool. I'm surprised so scary. Steven didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> welcome uh, to our update. We hope. That Look at Steven now. He is just trying to. to to oppress any kind of emotion, he's scared to talk to the audience, to the scared of your, of the judge or that you can have about uh, or your your opinion. Okay, he's just uh, a dude that uh, is scared to because what well, because he, he knows uh, that. People are going, not going to be happy at the end of, uh, uh, of, um, of this. You've had a wonderful time that you've been keeping well and safe. You can blame the community for whatever this is. I'm, uh, I'm, this is my closet cosplay of a wisp whelk. Oh, Ooh, it's or so snorse, good. AKA it, snorse. I love the little <laughs> eyes that you have coming off of it. That's oh, so cool. Really? It's creepy AF. What a, what a <laughs> pointless boring statement uh, and also repetitive every time i mean the, those the, those uh, statements are are not very constructive they they are just express uh, an opinion about uh, about approving or not approving something, they never go further. Okay, they never explain why um, it's uh, it's something uh, is cool, is bad. Anyway, yes. Now, of course, he's talking he's talking about something is not gameplay related, but uh, um, but uh, he does this. Uh, he, he simply uh, his lives. He do just this in for every kind of content that um, they they put on stream. He just uh, say cool, yes, uh, perfect, nice job. Pointless statements, okay. Just because you need to, you don't want to go deeper in <laughs> what you are doing, because you know it's just going to be. Um, a messy uh, disaster. <laughs> but, are you gonna are you gonna stand up like halfway through the stream and grow like horse legs? Oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> if if I had more time, I would honestly very make like cool a anyway. proper cosplay. But girl, very your girl horrifying. has been busy. We've got a lot going on, uh, so um, we're just gonna get to that. So. As always, we'll go over a quick uh, recap of like what we're going to be covering today. We'll be doing reminders. We're going to do a segment on PvP and griefing. Um, we're going to talk Ooh, about our gathering update, which we have spicy. some... <laughs> that zoom in when you were like, spicy. Spicy, I know. Oh, can I make it do that? I don't know. I don't know. It would, like zoomed in on you. I, I'm, I'm starting to tell, okay? Uh, he's trying to turn that off. Not for the emotion too much, but for the actual mix of... Of sadness and uh, I don't know. Um, exciting, exciting! Oh my, why don't we do a petition where Steven just go do, do a vacation, okay, instead of streaming? And uh, he the, he put a re, um, recorder, uh, a re, re, um, some uh, output audio, okay. So whenever um, he uh, some tracks okay some dialogue tracks so whenever he they go live uh, you just play the tracks uh, amazing uh, exciting whoa yeah. you couldn't figure it out so enjoy the camera movement yeah if, if the, I, I apologize I once again had to come to Las Vegas last night um, and uh, didn't get to bed until about 4.30 in the morning. Oh my arrived, gosh. Pretty, arrived pretty late, uh, but got here okay, so that wasn't a problem. Uh, but I'm not as bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning. Why I Las think. Vegas? Uh, and I can't control it. I, I, 
Yeah, I can't, I can't control the camera because it just zooms on its own. So I apologize mm. if you get some random zooms. But it means you can move around and it'll yeah, that's keep true. you focus. Um, and then we'll be doing a, a really, really short character update and then studio update and then Q&A. So um, hang tight, guys. We got a lot to show you. Um, before anything else, obviously we have our reminders, and with that we have our YouTube subscriber comment. You can subscribe to us on our YouTube video and leave us a comment on it, and if you do, you could be selected as one of these folks. So our first person here is from Space Brain. Space Brain asks, will there be advanced options for HUD customization early on in development? For example, hide name tags of players or NPCs choose which HUD elements we hide or show and have presets for these options to switch between quickly. In open world PVE, I might want virtually no HUD, but in PVP, I want more information available. Can this be done at the switch of a hotkey? So they're looking for more, I know we've talked about customization a lot. We yes. want to allow for a lot of customization, but will yeah. we have some presets that people can hotkey? Absolutely. Um, so, Customization um, of UI elements, especially on the HUD, is like a top desired aspect of our UI team. Colby and Grad and Jeff and Natalie and Drew, they're all working towards having the most customiz customizable options when it comes to those types of things um, and being able to, um, to quickly change that on the fly. Uh, given the PVX nature of the game, um, as well as uh, the different styles of combat that's available. It's not P PV, uh, PvP, it's PV... He, did he say the PvP or PV? Anyway, let's continue. Um, is something that's highly desired. So uh, I know I always enjoy when I have maximum flexibility in the customization options of, of my UI, because UI is a very... It's a high, highly desirable, but they don't know if they are going to deliver it. He never said yes. We are going do, going to do this, this, and this. It's not answering the 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 question in the, the right uh, way order. Uh, instead, yes, it's just uh, <clears throat> uh, it's just. Uh, mm, I mean, because of course you can't hide certain uh, hards because. Whenever you make a video game, uh, first of all, those old style um, HUDs and uh, health bars and uh, info, or uh, I mean um, graphs, uh, those, all those should, need, should be reworked and designed in a different way that uh, I can uh, show you how. But uh, uh, because they are quite broken and they broke break the the game uh, uh, the game um, design okay but yes um, you can't uh, do w w everything you want in such old style video game okay uh, in such design okay such old style design because you need uh, enemies need to be able to sh to see your HUD and uh, that's it uh, you can, I mean, uh, customize probably your uh, only what you see, but um, uh, sure because otherwise then uh, I don't know if you can add mods. Subjective thing, um, and it's constantly a topic of how we can, you know, present the default uh, appearance of the UI, but also in the settings allow for pretty much. You know, carte blanche on what options are available to the player to choose. Awesome, awesome. And that is our comment. If you want your comment uh, maybe highlighted, make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and leave a comment on it. It will be this, the development update video for October, not the extra videos that we post. Um, and then, as you may have known, we announced that we are doing Extra Life again this year. Yes. This year's Extra Life, we have some bonus streams for you. We have a pregame stream over on Friday, November 4th at 6 p.m. Pacific until 10 p.m. We'll be playing a variety of games with some of our developers, so definitely tune in for that. And then, of course, our big 24-hour live stream where we will be playing Pathfinder set in the world Yay. of Ashes of Creation. Uh, so you'll get... 
plenty of lore and act. Uh, again, this is completely useless. Uh, you are playing fucking video games instead of uh, talking about the video game or making the video game. Um, sure, you can have fun, but it, it doesn't make any sense to play something like Pathfinder if you're making an RPG, okay? Um, you need, you, whenever you make a, such a video game and you focus on such RPG, then you, I, I, there is no reason to play another RPG. And because I mean, one moment. Hello, I know you saw me uh, as doing some uh, appearance, but it's the only way to not uh, corrupt the, the video. So, while uh, recording, so let's continue. I love you, Ashes of Creation, but uh, f exactly because I love you, I'm, I'm, I'm heavily criticizing you because there is not much good about uh, the project. Shen, um, now I'll be this one, this yeah. one's gonna be a fun one because um, we tied in the scope of the campaign from a story perspective to be driven by one of the major points of interest that are present near one of the divine gateways on vera um so this gives some insight to a lot of the quests that are involved with that particular point of interest it's called the tower of carfin you guys heard about it our last stream um, and there are I've seen a, a glimpse lot... of it in the distance. Yes, and there are a lot of events that are in Alpha 2 around that tower. There's a lot of quest lines around that tower. It is a major point of interest in the world, um, and something very important happened there uh, within the Aelin Empire during the, the fall, the exodus. Um, and it's set during that time, so you get some backstory behind the point of interest and What the, the fuck? Character. No, I can't, I can't believe they are doing this shit from the beginning. I, I, whenever you play uh, things that don't care about your char char character because they because are so old stories, okay, that don't that has have nothing to do with the present. You make those. Uh, completely um, different temporal lines, uh, timelines that uh, uh, just break. Just, I mean, if you are narrating a story or making a film, um, I mean, uh, amazing. You are not doing this, and I keep repeating this. You are making, you are doing all the possible mistakes to make a horrible uh, video game. Uh, you are. You are designing it like, like uh, with the perspective of being a, a player. You are um, designing a film, prioritizing graphics, playing very uh, a very uh, big priority priority to graphics and uh, um, story and the structure, all things that uh, don't match in any way with the gameplay and uh, are just uh, railroad style of content there is no gameplay with the sandbox features that are there yeah it's gonna be a ton of fun definitely tune in you can already head on over to bit.ly slash aoc extra life the aoc and the e and the l are capitalized there you can head on over there and you can start donating now all those donations will be part of segment one of our donation phase uh, for rewards but we also have, while you're there, you can affect the game live. So the donation incentives that you can see on the page, these do different things like inspiration, uh, nat 20s, you change places. So some of the characters may have to change places. We had it happen last year. Uh, it was pretty funny. Um, that was pretty funny. Revive, we may need it. Uh, and of course, there's a whole bunch of other goodies there. Um, and this year we'll have some pre-made magic items and stuff like that so we can make sure those are happening a little bit quicker than previously. 
And of course, one of the favorites, the wild magic, where you don't. This is a uh, very, very pathetic. I, I am designing a um, RPG tabletop, okay? Uh, table and saying a RPG D&D uh, &D inspired game. And uh, whenever you do this as a streamer, because you need money, money you're just uh, <laughs> ruining the the experience okay the i mean just make a player interact with one uh, i mean just make a good interaction you can make npcs um, that uh, the jet controlled by a player by uh, online players by okay by the viewers by the view viewers and uh, doing such uh, I mean, but you, you can only choose uh, like corset item, magic item, you cannot even choose what kind of item, what it does, it's just pointless, just to, uh, this is made for the peoples that want to uh, appear on the screen and uh, influence uh, something, Be feel like a pow uh, have, they have some power, but <laughs> this is not very cr uh, fun or cr creative. Uh, because at the end it's the DM that uh, have to uh, invent uh, everything. What uh, how, uh, I mean, what the, what is the magic item? Okay, so let's continue. No, what's gonna happen? But something crazy will. Uh, you roll a one d ten thousand and you find out what, or one thousand, uh, and find out what happens. So very very yeah, fun. Stuff. Imagine you are playing. Uh, <laughs> um, a D&D game and a player keep uh, keeps donating you to to make you fail everything. <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem very very fun. So honestly, honestly, it's a it's a lot of fun if you if you haven't tuned in in one of our previous years. You know, it's a it's a pretty what the, you, you change a race. So if I put money, I, I can tell you that that you're. I mean, I can in, in in the live your your fucking uh, race, your your appearance and race <laughs> change. What the fuck? Ch I I don't understand. You need you need to change all the um, race uh, uh, settings. It's uh, I don't know. Laid back and chill stream. We're playing Pathfinder in the world of Vera, um, but. You know, there's a lot of fun stuff that happens. Margaret always keeps it amazing with the <laughs> rewards and, and the benchmarks that we hit. And it's for a good cause. Um, you know, Extra Life has been doing this now for a number of years. They've raised a lot of money with the support of, of awesome communities like ours. Um, and <laughs> it's always inspiring to see the MMORPG community. Okay, ours. Okay, I, I misunderstood. Okay. I thought uh, uh, us, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> but yes, um, our amazing community, like ours, because you you need to repeat things to make them more clear, of course. Anyway, uh, I mean. I, the, he, I don't trust uh, everything he says about uh, his money because he clearly said that he's rich and so uh, you do this only because you need money. Up up to the plate in helping. It doesn't make uh, much sen sense, okay? So I think it, it's all a lie or something like this. Those who are less fortunate, those those children who, who need help in, in these children's hospitals. And, and Radies is an, is an awesome children's hospital here in San Diego, or there in San Diego. Um, and it's just a, it's an absolute pleasure to be able to, to participate with our fellow gamers. Um, it's a yeah. really cool thing. So next Friday. Oh, so they do a donation. It's even uh, worse. Um, 
from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific time. We'll have a little bit of a pre-stream fun with uh, some members of the team. And then on Saturday, next Saturday, that's a week from tomorrow, we're starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Make sure to stop by. You don't have to donate. Just come, partake in the festivities, chat with us. Uh, it's a really cool opportunity to be a part of something special. I would definitely agree. He doesn't seem very convinced about what he said. Look at his face, uh, looking down. I mean, yes, probably uh, reading <laughs> uh, the lines that he, 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 that he keeps repeating and uh, that he needs to say because uh, he probably isn't allowed to do mistakes and say things that he should not say. But uh, anyway, let's go uh, next. It's, it's already 25 minutes. Great, it is pretty amazing what you all do to help, um, you know, the kids at Radies. And they're Absolutely. so, they're, yeah, it's precious. But as uh, Stephen said, we do have a lot of milestones. Um, you can check out some of them right here on this page. Um, and then also over on our page, we go up to 25K, but we, because our main goal is to hit. Just make your video game. What? Why are you wasting so much effort? <laughs> Of course, then you need uh, eleven years uh, and uh, to 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 start the basic concepts, and then another uh, twenty-five years to to re release the video game. I I don't understand why people. Okay. That mark, but if we do hit twenty-five, we do have some more milestones as well including things like all of us jumping in the pool <laughs> in our cosplay. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to have to tell everybody to make sure they bring another set of clothes in case we hit that. We made that milestone a little bit more okay, uh, attainable see. this year. Um, so, yeah, and of course, some well, of the fan favorites. It's all bullshit uh, nonsense. Let's go next. Believe for those of you who are maybe, you know, smaller streamers and you are can, can get up to $100 to raise, uh, you can potentially get some increases to your quality of your stream and things of that sort. So we want to give back to everybody. Hopefully that covers yeah. a lot of stuff. Um, and beyond that, we also have uh, our cosmetics that are swapping over. Definitely read the lore for this one because it might not look as spoopy this time, but if you read the lore, some creepy stuff going on. Cult stuff is always weird. Uh, but the Accord of Autumn... Check it out. Uh, these will be swapping over on November 9th at 11 a.m. Pacific. So if you want these... Of course, uh, now they uh, they also did uh, something hal uh, hal Halloween uh, related be, be to, to, to be more appealing. Uh, but uh, I mean, same same uh, thing uh, that they always put. Snag them now, and of course, all of these variants made uh, you know help us make the game. MP these become NPCs and creatures and buildings in the world. Um, but definitely read the lore about them because they're pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> and with that, let's swap over to PvP and griefing. And Stephen, if you would like to kind of preface this, um, I think before we start going deep into the PvP and griefing, let's kind of cover what the basics are because I think everyone's definition of what griefing is is different. So yes. can you define to us no, what you mean different. by griefing uh, when you're talking about it in context crazy. here? That uh, uh, snail. <laughs> uh, I mean, you are snail. You should not be talking about uh, uh, what is griefing. Uh, or, I don't know. Anyway, no griefing. It's uh, very. It's something that uh, everyone uh, have um, have the same. Everyone has the same definition of griefing because it's just one definition. You don't have many definitions. For sure, everyone experienced uh, different uh, uh, situations and uh, griefing uh, and griefs. Okay, you can grief people in di many different ways. Sure, this is uh, what um, what you meant to say, maybe. I mean, this bell is uh, very very annoying. It's doing is very noisy. That is that is a good question. So first, I asked um, Margaret this week to include for our stream today a section to discuss uh, PvP, risk versus reward, and, and griefing, right, um, in Finally. the live stream. And that's because 
there's been some healthy discussion um, within our community and within the MMORPG gaming community at large um, about what types of systems players have um, played in the past uh, that our flagging system might draw inspiration from, um, what the role of that system played in combating griefing but allowing a sense of risk within the world um, and then how what is our objective by implementing let's say an open world flagging system and I wanted to have an opportunity to kind of um, discuss and convey um, once again and I know we've done this in the past but obviously as development continues as we provide updates of the development and it garners more attention and more eyes from the MMORPG player base at large and not necessarily those of you who have been following the project for a long period of time um, you're going to get uh, new users and new members of our community who are excited about what they're seeing and they're going to learn about systems slowly over time. And the one thing I want to make sure that we are very clear about within the Ashes of Creation community is that we are always polite and that we are willing to explain and help direct people to information. There is a wonderful resource out there that's managed uh, and built by Lex, who's one of our great community members. Um, who has taken a lot of information, references, resources, and poured it into an Ashes of Creation wiki. Um, and one thing I would recommend to those of you who are new to following the project and excited about the potential of Ashes of Creation, make sure that you engage Money, with our community. On you, you, you are very valuable because you are. You don't know ab about. Uh, you don't have any idea about this project and so you are easily um, deceivable uh, <laughs> they always talk about new guys that want that approach this uh, uh, this project for the first time and also is just talking nonsense about things that i don't uh, see because it, it, i mean it, it, they want to uh, make people understand and do all those shit. I mean, all those very important things, but they are not. I mean, if, when it says those those things, it feels like uh, shit. Not uh, actual. Uh, it's not true. What he's saying is they are not doing anything about um, sharing in, sharing informations. Okay. Um, Discord, on the forums, on Reddit, <clears throat> and you ask people uh, questions, but also that you take it upon yourself, if you are interested, right, to go to the Ashes Wiki, to go to our website, um, to go to YouTube and kind of watch and explore and read and take in kind of everything that this game is about, and what its philosophy is meant to represent, and why the game is being made, right? That's, that's a really good... The problem is that... Uh, um we don't know the philosophy or any kind of uh, video game system we just assume uh, we just made people's uh, uh, or we just made a website a wiki that uh, takes um, some of the things you said okay and assume that and um, um, assume that your promises and your uh, and things that you said uh, are um, coherent and uh, uh, simply um, people are making up uh, a video game by what you say okay you didn't uh, show uh, the only few things that you show are very broken and um, minimal simplistic and unbalanced so again i'm I, i'm tired of repeating the same uh, sheet and so let's continue step to take if you want to be an informed you know consumer and follower of the game and of course if following development is not for you that's totally fine too because it's not a journey that's made for everyone and that's cool um what i want then you are you why why you are here no uh, i mean people's 
all the peoples that are, are here are interested in some degree to the to get some uh, info and uh, so I mean mo most of the peoples here are curious or I mean are probably peoples that uh, are doing some uh, random uh, 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 view or peoples that are actually interested and already know the, about the wiki say about the recent topic of uh, the open world flagging system and pdp and ashes of creation is that there's a very strong emphasis for how pvp and risk are represented within ashes of creation in that it is meaningful in that it has the ability to catalyze change within the world through both opt-in systems that are designated, timed, um, and more controlled, to elements in PvP that are less, that are more outside of your control, and I think that's where the concern really lies: is when PvP enters the realm of being outside of of your control. Now, <clears throat> the reason I believe in player behavior that we have concerns mm -hmm. about the ability for others outside of our control and consent to affect our gameplay is because oftentimes in games where that's the case, you run into a state of griefing. And it's often expressed that you can implement systems and rules in such a way where you curtail that level or, um, frequency of griefing right uh but you can't completely eliminate it that people will find a way what is it life finds a way right that this, i guess essentially griefers are dinosaurs and they just eat you no i'm just kidding <laughs> not... uh he just uh, um said basically nothing he just said what that griefing is uh, something that happens when uh people that are aren't in your control <laughs> Oh my God! This is this is so so uh, so mentally uh, broken. He's just he's just panicking and this throwing concept because he doesn't know how to uh, he doesn't know how to actually actually. Um, uh, talk about uh, grief, um, the, the griefing prob problem, okay? He's just saying that uh, <laughs> griefing, okay? This is very, very dumb. He's, uh, I mean, he's saying uh, something very simple using uh, many, many words that uh, aren't necessary, aren't needed. Uh, so he's, make, he's building up those very, very complex uh, of, um, 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 f f phrases and uh, um, concepts, okay? He's just saying very complex dialogues uh, because uh, he just don't understand the concept. So, one, one moment, Let, let's go back, okay? I, I need to... We need to uh, he, hear again here again built by lex who's one of our great community members um who has taken a lot of information references resources and poured it into an ashes of creation wiki um and one thing i would recommend to those of you who are new to following the project and excited about the potential of ashes of creation make sure that you engage with our community on discord on the forums on reddit <clears throat> and you ask people uh, questions but also that you take it upon yourself if you are interested right to go to the ashes wiki to go to our website um, to go to youtube and kind of watch and explore and read and take in kind of everything that this game is about and what its philosophy is meant to represent and why people so if are if people is interest are interested of course they explore the website the wiki uh, so uh, you, you, this is just random uh, it's, this is nonsense okay he's, he's talking uh, he, he talks about uh, meaningless uh, 
things. It doesn't make any sense what he's saying, okay? Make sure you, you go check uh, how um, uh, the wiki and uh, if you like our game, check our game. Um, we are awesome. We, you, you need to follow us and post your comments because then, then you, we can steal your, uh, steal your idea and uh, it's, uh, blah, 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 blah game is being made right that's that's a really good step to take if you want to be an informed you know consumer and follower of the game and of course if following development is not for you that's totally fine too because it's not a journey that's made for everyone and that's cool this this ends his uh, <laughs> his <laughs> prologues is uh, i mean he's uh, fucking huge uh, nonsense uh, this nonsense uh, speech so okay uh, if you are interested follow us or uh, if you aren't then why you are here then if you if you aren't interested uh, let's talk about something else <laughs> um, what I want to say okay. about the I'll recent topic of this topic. The, the open world flagging system and PvP and ashes of creation is okay. that this is important there's a very strong emphasis for how PvP and Risk are represented within Ashes of Creation, in that it is meaningful, in that it has the ability to catalyze change within the world through both opt-in systems that are designated, timed, um, and more controlled. He's just throwing random nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is just saying nothing. It's completely empty of any kind of argument, or is just taking talking about fried hair. We say uh, in Italy, uh, aria fritta, that means fried hair, or I mean, it's just throwing smoke on your eyes because uh, it's. If you don't don't understand what's saying, it's it's, it's normal because he's just trying to uh, feel like he's uh, expressing um, some kind of uh, complicated concept that you can't understand. But in fact, he actually, is just uh, is just um, saying random stuff that, that doesn't make any sense. So two elements in PvP that are less, that are more outside of your control. And I think that's where the concern... That's a video game, not, not, not the concern, this is not griefing, this is... Uh, one moment. Uh, okay, sorry, let's continue. ...lies is when PvP enters the realm of being outside of, of your control. Now, <clears throat> the reason I believe PvP is never in your control, okay? When you... <laughs> is, <coughs> I'm saying some very <laughs> um, stupid bullshit. Uh, and I hope that they never uh, uh, discover that. Uh, I am saying some... Uh, <laughs> some in ignorant uh, things about video games. Um, Oh my god, I hope they don't discover that I have no clue on uh, how to make video games. I mean, why are you doing this, uh, Steven? Just be open, okay? Transparent. Uh, of course, uh, PvP, video games online, video games. Uh, one moment. Okay, let's start. Yeah. In player behavior that we have concerns about the ability for others outside of our control and consent to affect our gameplay is because often... This is called the gameplay, okay? It's not negative, it's very positive. Whenever someone can interact with you and affect your uh, gameplay it means that it's a uh, online pvp okay so uh, 
uh, this show how poor poor your con your concepts of video games are, how poor your knowledge is, uh, very and how basic uh, your your tools are. Okay, it's and that's why I I, I know what this game is going to be. Okay, uh, it's just uh, it just takes idea from other video games. It's, it's not creative. It doesn't have. Um, the mindset of a the, uh, of a designer maybe did some some uh, some things okay he, he had some ideas uh, to but it's very very everything he says is very um, uh, wrong So let's continue. Times in games where that's the case, you run into a state of griefing. And it's often expressed that you can implement systems and rules in such a way where you curtail that you level or. Uh, what, what the fuck? What, what, I'm not Italian. And uh, I'm limited with some words, but I, I think that also many of you don't know what. What he said, curtail. Uh, I, I mean, use normal words to 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 be more. I mean, use you should use simple words, okay, not uh, fancy words, uh, Stephen. I, I know you don't want to be understood, but you, <laughs> for the people that watch Stephen, he should talk uh, more uh, uh, simple frequency of griefing right uh but you can't completely eliminate it that people will find a way what is it life finds a way right then i guess essentially griefers are this is very bad concept because it it means that uh, uh, bad video game griefing it should be allowed in video games because people are going to find a way to make the video game bad feel bad okay this is very very uh, bad and, and such concept, such bad concept that show uh, that you don't love or care about um, video games. You are just uh, well, a player that uh, had some good times with video games, but you don't um, uh, have the, the uh, a true love about video games. Okay. Because if you love video games, you know that certain things are wrong, that griefing is wrong and game breaking, and it should not be be a feature. Dinosaurs and they just eat you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not the case. But um, it's, uh, gr uh, good. There is good. You have can have good griefing and bad griefing. Good griefing is meant to, to is uh, something designed in the video game. Okay. When you design something to be destructible and to be um, and to be um, changeable, okay, and you, well, because people can interact with it and change it, then that's uh, a kind a, dif a different concept. But uh, bad griefing is when uh, there is a, a unbalance and you don't have power to um, influence or or interact with the player. It's the complete opposite of what he's saying. He's just does, he doesn't even know what um, it means. Okay, we, what griefing uh, griefing means? Griefing it means that you can't interact. Okay, and respond to certain actions, and uh, uh, because uh, the the game is uh, is not balanced and is not designed to uh, prevent certain actions. So whenever uh, something is more uh, easy to achieve or more uh, is something is unbalanced it means that um, uh, it's going to be uh, it's, it's going to give more power to certain uh, players to test certain styles um, so to, to certain mechanics and then you can grief uh, other players and uh, because you abuse the system that is broken so this is griefing, it's when your game sh uh, sucks, when you, your game is shit, then you can grief. Okay, this is an, a, a terrible excuse, um, excuse because griefing is bad, 
um, point. Uh, when you can, when people can build something and they, they need hours, and then you can destroy it in five minutes, this is unbalanced, and uh, because you don't have any mechanics that are able to to prevent this from happening okay uh, for example if i can make a, an house in uh, one hour and then another another guy can uh, destroy it in one minute without um, being able to do anything uh, to prevent uh, this then um, of course it's, it's, it means that uh, uh, it's going to be a balance because uh, destroying a, 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 an house, a structure, uh, it takes way less. So imagine in one hour you have 60 opportunities of people. Okay, you have 60. Uh, you you can um, lose 60 houses while you make one. Okay. So, of course, a game that like this, of course, yes, I am taking um, uh, Minecraft as, um, as, co as a concept, as a video game, as an example, okay? Uh, but uh, the, that's why um, this is what happens. You, uh, it, 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 at the end, of course, uh, everyone will leave the, the game because it's impossible to do anything, because uh, people are going to grief and have, will have more power because the video game is unbalanced. They have more power than you, and they can. They will uh, uh, um, simply um, uh, break and uh, ruin um, everything. So, so you will. So the game will never have uh, structures or houses or things like this because one guy can destroy everything uh, without uh, even uh, uh, putting any effort and then you have the opposite that uh, bans uh, griefing acts uh, that and makes the video game uh, broken because then you simply broke the video game concept that should allow players interaction and um, um, so if you uh, ban griefing and prevent people from des destroying and interacting with objects the game becomes fucking boring you have your house you are play you play in a single player okay and that's it so that's uh, the problem what we tried to do or what you know what i've tried to do is take a system that i experienced in the past and refine it in such a way where yes i am a, f a master I'm look his his face is just catching words in the air okay he's just he's just trying to justify his uh, his actions <laughs> uh, he's completely it's, it's a fool okay Steven you are a fool and a nice liar uh, talented uh, uh, liar, very smart, and uh, but you're also uh, a talented uh, guy that I'm sure you can do many good things. And one of those is stop um, acting uh, um, this because it's not going to let you. Uh, it's not going to give you anything good. You get some. Uh, hype at the beginning then everything's uh, go will will then go against you and <laughs> imagine from going it's like uh, the those new body build, bodybuilders that use um, drugs to make fake uh, fake muscles then they become famous very fast and then they uh, die and or they simply got blamed and um, I mean simply um, then their body start to collapse uh, and they face uh, uh, I mean they, they get what they wanted so Steven uh, stop okay the large portion of griefing that had the potential to occur in previous systems 
<clears throat> is mitigated even further. And when we think about griefing and we think about is I, I I refine it, I enhance it, I make it better. Uh, this is prevented. Griefing is prevented because uh, I um, I am good and I refine uh, things. Uh, that's my um, argument. You can't win against my logic. Uh, okay. Um, uh, <laughs> um, that's a, a completely empty nonsense. About what is griefing? Griefing isn't necessarily the realization of risk, right? Risk is a healthy thing. Risk makes... doesn't mean anything. What you said, realization of risk and griefing is like saying that uh, water is uh, is uh, uh, green. I mean, water can be green, but. Uh, Water and green are not the same thing. It's non completely nonsense. A risk of re a realization or a risk. Uh, you are just so confused, Stephen. You are just showing your to the people the liar that you um, are the 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 the, peop the 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 man that you are. Okay, you are a man that build uh, yourself around lies and because marketing is simply playing with the words and uh, and the strategies to to make money without uh, making pro products okay so uh, he's a very good at, at this because he made made the he made this all the guys that get rich uh, with marketing and all those things are basically legal scammer uh, scammers People that uh, um, take uh, best profit from uh, worst uh, uh, products, from bad products. They sell uh, for more, for less. So let's continue to see all this completely. I mean, it's collapsing because he knows that the, 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 the repeating random boring uh, shit he, he always say can't last forever so he now start to panic and his speech is getting worse uh, month after live after live um, stream after stream is getting uh, worse us value reward um, without risk we would not pursue certain achievements uh, because anybody could achieve them um, <clears throat> risk no no uh, without the risk we we don't uh, go for achievement <coughs> bullshit bullshit uh, no uh, whenever you want to achieve something um, you can choose to have uh, to to prepare okay you can choose to risk uh, um, it's it's right that uh, risk okay um, means uh, um, reward okay this is a concept that you should not uh, confuse with everything you everything else okay you can put uh, concepts uh, that people uh, rec recognize recon recognize um, to to make people uh, feel good about what you are saying. Um, so risk uh, versus rewards. <clears throat> it's when you. It's when you. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay, um, one moment. I, I have some cats here that are that want some att attention uh, you know me you know i have some cats um, okay uh, sorry anyway uh, risk and uh, reward it's when okay um, Uh, okay, one moment. Uh, let me um, think about this concept. Uh, so, when uh, uh, 
whenever you want to um, achieve something okay uh, the the fun of of one moment Uh, allora, so, uh, uh, okay, sorry, um, I left the cats. So, um, whenever you um, want to uh, achieve something, okay, um, it's uh, I mean it's a survival game. It's you need to fight a dungeon, and you need to play with the certain actions. Uh, then of course you uh, are you uh, you play with the game okay risk versus reward is not uh, what uh, is not something you apply to punish uh, players uh, it's something that is meant to balance this um, um, a, um, a, a thing okay that is meant to balance the, the video game uh, systems um, whenever you enter a dungeon, you need to um, to balance a risk versus reward because uh, if you uh, fight, um, if you want to kill a stronger enemy, of course uh, uh, you. Um, I mean, when you challenge yourself, okay, you do some. Um, um, you 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 always have two choices. You can take uh, an easy uh, road, okay, uh, or uh, take the unknown road or the dangerous road. Um, this uh, doesn't imply that you should get a better reward, but usually, uh, whenever you uh, you do something dangerous, you explore something that you didn't know, you get something new, new, different. So. Um, Risk versus reward is simply meant to uh, uh, to balance the the the, game, the player choice, because if the, the player can't choice uh, two different things uh, and uh, uh, and get uh, uh, something more valuable for, m for making the same effort, of course you of course. Uh, um you need the to balance uh, those concepts otherwise everyone is going to choose the same um the same um uh, actions the same uh, things um it's not very uh, uh, hard it's just something that you sh use to balance makes us uh, have a sense of thrill or have uh, uh, some sense of anxiety, um, right? And and those are all emotional responses that get elicited when risk... Uh, your video game design makes uh, players have anxiety and, uh, okay, is when if you have anxiety, okay, because and this is caused by risk versus reward, this is gambling, okay, it's not um, a fun mechanic. Uh, Anxiety and all those things, of course, uh, are are uh, something uh, that uh, people's. Uh, I mean, those are things that uh, happens. If uh, I mean, uh, I mean, you mean I hope good emotions, okay? Because uh, being being anxious. Uh, Um, uh, one moment. It's, it's starting to be uh, very cold at outside. Uh, maybe it's better if I, I go back inside and stop the, the video. <sighs> okay. So. Um, what, um, so what we, we, I was talking about. Um, uh, let, let's continue and, and close the concept. It's present. So risk isn't a bad thing. We like risk. Risk is good not just in PvP, but in PvE as well. When you can't always predict the environment or encounter that you're a part of, risk is something like, ah, I've never seen... 
risk is um, a basic uh, um, design concept that y you add to give depth okay, to the gameplay. You, you need to choose between different things. So you risk something because you, don't, you can't predict the outcome. I mean, if you can predict, uh, predict the outcome uh, of something, then um, um, then you don't uh, risk, okay? But it doesn't mean this is a good uh, a good thing, okay? A good player should not uh, gamble, okay? Should not usually good players um, um, understand the mechanics and uh, use their skills to. Uh, to uh, not to not uh, to get uh, um, results, okay, guaranteed results. So um, so <sighs> mm. Let's let's listen uh, what he's going to say now. This boss do that before, or you know these ads came at an ill-placed time, or there's a trap here that you know I didn't experience before. There's a lot of elements that Risk introduces that keep gameplay less stale, that keep it more dynamic, that um, introduce environments where um, we you know the unexpected can occur. That's that is a good thing. Now, no, that, 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 that's a problem because if you put, for example, things the player don't expect, cannot predict, this is just game breaking. The video game is going to be broken and boring. Uh, you don't need you, you need to give player choice. Is the bal is risk versus reward? Is the concept that balance a player choice? Uh, if you put a trap, okay that players uh, can predict or predict or expect okay and they and then they start to be anxious um, and then they die and they can't prevent it this is stressful okay uh, so if you i mean this is your explanation okay and your explanation is clearly incomplete and uh, wrong the question is, when risk becomes something that doesn't stop other players from impacting your gameplay in a negative, harassing, and repetitive manner, that the motivation to do that action is less about their personal advancement and more about impacting your gameplay because when they elicit the response of anger or rage from the player, they feel a sense of accomplishment. That, in my opinion, is what griefing is. It is outside of the expectation of the gameplay behavior that's being... Okay, so uh, it's outside of the expectation of uh, the gameplay. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, uh, of course, if you have uh, some a good expectation about the video game mechanics, and the video game is trash and allow some uh, this um, to happen then uh, yes uh, it's outside the video game mechanics but if you if you if your mechanics allow the the gr griefing and uh, the the um, allow such a situation where people get repeatedly like, like you said they get repeatedly uh, killed and uh, okay uh, and, uh, and to ruin uh, players' uh, fun and enjoyment, and they then they because they enjoy griefing. And I repeat, this only happens because the video game is trash, and people simply get bored and frustrated, so they start griefing. This doesn't happen if the video game is, is fun. Okay, you don't grief for for uh, no reasons. Uh, so. The, the fact that you need to prevent the griefing, uh, griefing means already means that uh, if people's grief, your video game uh, is is bad. And this is, uh, I mean, a clear statement saying, I mean, this is a statement, a hidden statement uh, that uh, 
where you tell to us that your video game is going to be bad. <laughs> okay? Um, I mean, you are just copying uh, old video games, so of course those old uh, um, problems will come back in your uh, video game. It's uh, just uh, uh, the same video game communicated in the design philosophy right mm -hmm. that is <clears throat> that is something that our system is intended to stop uh, but to stop. keeping yes. risk still alive and there's a fine line there right yeah because um you have to the risk, the risk there oh my god oh now i got it he, he, he he's thinking about the risk of being griefed and uh, being and uh, inject bad feelings about the video game. You really think this is healthy, Steven? Just because you're un incapable to solve this problem doesn't mean you need to uh, make people think that griefing uh, can be good, okay? And put it in the risk and reward, okay? If you, you, are, are, you said, okay? You <coughs> clearly said that uh, griefing is something that goes outside of the game mechanics and then you uh, are now are saying that uh, griefing is part of the risk and the reward uh, um, um, system and the design uh, no uh, risk and reward is meant to is meant is like uh, is something that is meant to, to exist uh, to balance uh, video game mechanics it's not meant to uh, be applied on uh, things that should not uh, exist in the video game i mean uh, so the, the risk of so of an hacker uh, coming in your servers and uh, ruining your video game yes uh, also this risk is uh, should be uh, considered and uh, this is probably a good risk um, right steven um, so hackers also it's uh, a healthy risk uh, I don't know. Um, so, I mean, sh sure. Uh, I mean, of course, it's um, being hacked. It's a risk and uh, can be uh, fun, but usually it's not. Okay, uh, it's not like uh, if you want. To go outside, and you have you have the risk of being robbed and uh, or um, uh, damaged by other people's. Uh, this is not fun, okay? This is uh, not exciting. This is just this just put fears and kills people's uh, enjoyment and uh, life enjoyment. I. Uh, for the environment where player actions are unpredictable and yes, they could impact gameplay But you want to create player. You are designing the video game. Fuck Okay, Steven you uh, the action are uh, should be predictable by you and your team Unless you are incompetent and I mean you are kind of uh, uh, telling us uh, exactly that the system that deters that player from reaping a reward from griefing because when you deter them from that the the occasions in which griefing happens gets mitigated that becomes very few very very less frequent that a player is willing to accept loss uh, as an impact uh, no steven you don't understand griefing a player doesn't grief because he wants item <laughs> a, gr a griefer griefs because he want to lose item he want to break the video game because he's tired okay so uh, now your thing just uh, exciting it makes griefing more enjoyable for griefers because he challenge he put some challenge to the griefer uh, that uh, and makes the this more fun that, that probably very very probably your video game is we are designing a very fun, um, um, very fun ways to uh, uh, make your uh, video game be uh, horrible. <laughs> For being able to affect another person's gameplay. And the corruption system that's in Ashes of Creation, I believe, will uh, I stop believe, that behavior but I don't to know. a significant 
degree to the point where it is a very very minor if not at all experience situation for many players but the risk is still there right and yeah. that's something that requires testing that's something that requires us in out it's very simple steven if your system prevent people from doing pvp war pvp and it's pve okay um if your system work okay if your system don't work people are going to grief your system is something in between it doesn't completely uh, uh, stop pv pvp okay it's, it it allow it allow some minor boring pvp and also doesn't stop griefing okay people are going to so you are just making everything worse the two in the betas to see how we turn the dials of corruption that the risk profile of corruption is high enough to reach the level of that deterrent right um and that's something that we can't really opine on right now um sometimes creators like to make very emphatic statements like um if you want steven contact uh, contact me and i will explain you what griefing griefing is uh, how to prevent it and how to be 100% certain that your uh, that the griefing will not um, exist in your video game okay it's not easy okay it, it requires some work of course um, but uh, it's uh, uh, i can show you I, I mean i have many things to do and but i uh, i am in fact uh, <coughs> Um, a, a game designer that love video games, but I have problems doing this. So uh, I will try my best, okay, to fix uh, uh, your your video game. Uh, if you want, come to me and we can talk. You know, you will not like this system. This system will not be good for you. We don't know that yet because what we are doing is we're innovating. On uh, I know it. I know it. No, you are not innovating. You are just taking uh, things that already exist and were already done in other video games. I don't see what is the innovation. You don't didn't show innovation on the systems that have come before uh, by enacting changes uh, to that system which address the shortcomings of previous systems and we have to play test that first um it is my expectation address the short cuttings we need to address those things we need to fix those things um i, I mean if you were a random guy that um was watching me doing making this video game then yes i, I understand you uh, your um, everything you say, okay, but you are the lead designer, and uh, you are com very confused. That the system will perform very well in keeping risk alive, but significantly curtailing or deterring. Griefing is not related to uh, risk, okay? Stop saying that. Just go go learn. Uh, let someone teach you, okay? The ability for players to grief because we all agree that griefing isn't good griefing's mm -hmm. not fun that's not the intended game design and for players who work outside of the system to overly grief and harass other players in a way that is um that is that is just not intended game design those are actionable events those are those are potentially cs actionable events right um you don't want other players just playing to ruin other players game experience and so if that's our intent behind the corruption system you can be sure that we will refine that system with the many dials possible in corruption to better tune that so we achieve keeping risk but deterring griefing and so that was a long, oh that was a long <laughs> monologue answer for, but at least you guys have context to uh, you know where we're going when we're talking about grieving so let's now drag that into when and how will players encounter pvp because i think that's been a contentious uh, thing that people have been discussing as well people are i mean
na 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 If you are uh, angry about the things that I'm saying, okay, without uh, any argument or any, if you put uh, negative comments on my video. Uh, uh, without even doing a comment or explaining why, what you didn't like, what uh, let I will let you know that uh, you are just trying to defend your uh, illusions and uh, uh, and uh, you don't want to see uh, good things happens. Okay, the the, the things that you illuding yourself of. Of something, of something, because you don't want to, to see reality. It just means that the things that you you are going to get scammed and you are going to feel bad, and uh, and the things that you really want to see, okay, that you uh, like and enjoy, are never going to happen. So just be more constructive and uh, more. Uh, um, critique okay um, be more um, open okay so write a comment I will appreciate I, I will very likely um, read it and uh, um, help you understand uh, so thank you and uh, let's continue yeah absolutely so so when and how players encounter PvP the majority of PvP that players will encounter, the vast majority, will be through consensual systems, meaning opt-in systems like sieges, like caravans, um, like wars, uh, you know, these or going out into the open sea. These are conscious decisions that players will make knowing the risk potential, the risk profile, assessing that, um, and they will opt into those things. What happens? So... This means that world PvP is just going is going to be only a feature for the top uh, uh, geared and top level peoples. I think that uh, almost no no one is going to play PvP if you uh, allow such uh, su such thing. Okay. Um, I mean. Your your game doesn't even doesn't even seem to have a area where you have a set a certain uh, level, okay? So uh, players of the same level can uh, face one with another. Um, so this this is just going to kill Pv, PvP and uh, ruin uh, PVE. Um, but as we discussed with the open world flagging system, there is a possibility that, that players will um, contest dungeons or contest raids uh, that you and your friends might be a part of. Um, and that's a decision point to a degree as well. Because what if they uh, don't want to, to do that? What if they just go in PvE mode? Why should you should ever contest a dungeon? I mean, what are the, the mechanics? Um, I mean, of course, those dungeons seem to not be instances. Or, I mean, um, doesn't uh, aren't aren't separate from the world. Uh, you can access them them like uh, the open uh, with an open uh, world style. So, I mean, it's like those dungeon dungeons are technically a part of the world. Uh, I, I think uh, so mm, this is just so boring you can add so, so many cool mechanics you can make enchantments okay that uh, uh, protect players from being ganked um, enchantments that you get from in the cities, okay, and uh, 
you can do uh, so many things that can uh, make this feature much cooler instead you are just going to do a flag system or um, or simple um, um, a system where you can't be targeted and that's uh, that's not going to be good okay so as i said most players won't go red. The vast majority of players will not go red given the risk. And not just risk, but, you know, what is risk, right? Risk is, is the potential of failure, the potential of loss. Um, and there's many scales of failure. Um, but going red or gaining corruption not only has risk associated, it also has a cost. Um, and that sure, but uh, a failure is meant to be healthy because you, need, you learn the video game, okay? It's a different. It's a different thing. Cost is a defined cost. There's a known value to that cost. You raise your cumulative PK score, which increases the future corruption that you might gain, which which dampens skill efficacy in combat when you are corrupt. You gain four times the death penalties um, when dying as red. You can't trade your gear or interact with vendors and NPCs or uh, store gear inside of a storage chest while you're red. So it mitigates the potential you have to uh, potentially safely get rid of that corruption. Uh, in addition, you have now the potential to drop equipped items and gears if you are corrupt. So it's almost certainly a, uh, a, a negative... This doesn't prevent griefing, okay? And uh, because high-level uh, players will always uh, win uh, and uh, it's ex exploitable, probably very exploitable. Um, and uh, yes, simply, um, simply griefers don't care about those things. They are not playing the video game. They are playing ag ag against ag against uh, the, the the game. Okay. Um, I mean, they 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 just want to. Uh, to move a fucking boring video game when a griefer act is just want to do something more exciting more fun because your video game um, it isn't they don't care that the fact that they lose things okay because i mean if return on the investment of going corrupt and as a result very many players will not engage with the system, uh, but again, it's a fine line between if you keeping want, risk there. If uh, you want to prevent that, simply uh, uh, prevent uh, different levels from attacking one, uh, each other. Then uh, you select only uh, a certain. You, then only uh, certain players can um, fight one with another. Uh, this, of course, is going to uh, ruin some people's experience because they, um, I mean, the, the wall level thing is very old style and broken, a broken concept that uh, simply makes the video game uh, worse, okay, because if, if it just uh, makes the PvP less enjoyable, okay. A while deterring briefing. And you covered a bit of this just now, but um, one of the things that had came, has come up in the discussion about this topic is other games have flagging and corruption systems, no. but they still have issues with users griefing each other. How Correct. is our flagging system and corruption system going to deter that? Well, in a majority of cases, the experiences that I've had where the corruption system doesn't accurately address the potential for griefing is when the system has... Um, uh, essentially uh, failures, uh, failure points where the corrupt players can create a PK alt, right? That has the ability to be logged in or logged out at a location where you're protecting, let's say, the hunting ground, and um, you have the ability to support the PK alt through healing, and you might not flag by doing so. The alt has the same level of damage output and has no risk of loss there. Um, we address that by having the skill dampening so that that PK alt is ineffective in PvP and doesn't have the ability to kill. Um, you can return fire against a red target and not 
you know, go purple so that you're a valid target for PvP. Um, the red targets will have to continue to accrue that negative uh, corruption um, if they wish to defend themselves. Uh, there's a logout timer uh, assigned for players who have corruption. That's so if you get corrupted, you are fucked, essentially. Uh, I mean, it is just this punishing feature is just uh, is uh, completely insane. Okay, uh, punishing players and making. Why are you making all this? Just say no to the people that want to grief. If you want to design such thing. I mean, if someone wants to defend, uh, if you are corrupted, if you want to defend yourself and play the game, Steven said no, you are going to get more corrupted even if you defend yourself. <laughs> uh, okay very significant uh, and even if they force disconnect their client during that time it still persists in the world there's the potential to drop um, your armor and gear as we discussed there's four times the death penalties that are accrued through negative experience that are ga that's gained which means that even in the negative experience it also applies potential skill dampeners and keeps them from uh, accruing normal um, um, experience as well there is an added I mean these are all things that I've changed in the system that help to safeguard some of those loopholes. Um, now, of course, as we said, we we can't and we don't want to 100% remove the ability for that risk to be alive, for that risk to be realized. Um, but what we do want to do is make sure that those occasions are few and infrequent and are not uh, the majority of a player experience, let's say, in the open world. Um, and we do... The fact is that you are also uh, killing uh, and ruining the one of the most fun aspect about the older uh, about the older uh, video games MMO whenever you get a griefer uh, a, a team of uh, a team of uh, uh, I, I mean a team of uh, friends and the players that are uh, um, strong uh, will help you, okay, and uh, this makes uh, the video game very, very fun and dynamic. If you put this corruption system, you you break, you you ru you ruin uh, this feature because uh, no one is go. I mean, th this guy is just dead, okay. Uh, you don't need people to fight uh, back, okay, and build conflict, okay. The, is one of the uh, coolest thing, uh, things about uh, the open world video games and you are uh, basically uh, um, um, removing it so this whenever you are tr try to get a solution you uh, you can't you need to to find the problem you can't fix uh, the, the problem by saying no you because then, uh, then you uh, break the the video game principles and uh, break the video game just to prevent some bad video game design. It's like uh, uh, trying to close uh, 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 the water from uh, coming inside inside your submarine with uh, something, and then it's, it it uh, goes. Uh, I mean, of whenever you want to stop a tube from leaking and you s uh, close it but then uh, it comes out from an another <laughs> another uh, uh, section or another weak uh, point okay so by incorporating all of those risks and costs into a decision to gain corruption and PK another player in the open world, it's just not going to be done often. And, and that is my expectation and opinion. It's also the goal of the system is that griefing is not a viable option or play style. And as a result of that desire for the system, we will fine tune it in such a way through testing that that outcome is achieved. Um, and that is the t intent. And You're just um, uh, wasting so many resources and designs uh, features so many to simply stop players from killing uh, weaker enemies 
so just do this okay if you just want to do to get this result do do this instead it's easier and the more um, it doesn't I mean it's it's easier because of the design all right and then that next part of this is obviously there are situations where we as developers cannot always make you know those changes or we might not foresee something that players might do to one another how will we handle targeted harassment that pv that happens in pvp for instance like maybe there's a streamer and now they're just being farmed right or whatever that might be there's many examples of that um what was the question there? i'm sorry um how will we handle targeted harassment that happens oh i see targeted harassment yeah. again as i said previously when 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 a player takes their play experience to the point of harassing another player and doing so on a repetitive basis in order to diminish their play experience and that is done it is a breach of what our code of conduct is expected in the game and it is a ticketable offense right if you are following around a streamer or you're following around a player and your intent is to 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 keep them from playing the uh, that's not a problem because it, this happens uh, b because you because you have video game design uh, issues but uh, uh, this is this should not be a problem because usually streamers have many people that follow them and defend them okay so uh, being targeted and also help help them. So, of course, a streamer does stream uh, because uh, he, he, he chooses that. Okay, he chooses to expose him himself. This means good things and bad things. But he, it's he, his choice. You don't need to uh, to uh, focus on that. Okay, game or to force them to quit. That is a dirty player mindset. It's a bad player mindset. It's a griefer's mindset. It's not something that's desired in the ecosphere, in the community of Ashes of Creation. And as a result, it is a serviceable customer service uh, situation, right? That is where warnings are given and actions can be taken against the account holder of an individual whose sole purpose is to disrupt and affect negatively the gameplay experience of others. Um, and, you know, risk doesn't mean um harassment torture right that's not what risk is um risk is a healthy thing risk like i said increases our value of achievement you are not uh, uh, saying risk of you are not you, uh, no risk of uh of for example having having bugs is a bad thing you can't have uh, you can risk to have bugs okay uh, 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 risk and uh, is a, a good concept, but you need to apply it in the right way. The fact that you, your your head is full of concepts that you don't understand uh, how to use, uh, you don't understand what's their meaning, the, the meaning of, of those things. You just hear those from peoples that um, and, and think that you can make something good without even knowing how to use it. It's like, uh, okay, I know that for mining I need a pick, uh, a pick. Uh, I never used a pick and I don't know how to mine, but I am going to open the best mine in the world, okay? And I am going to mine all the minerals from the cave and... Uh, Increases the value of reward. Uh, sorry. Um, it feels really good that you were overcoming risk. It doesn't feel good to get griefed, um, and that's not the object of the system. Yeah, and on the customer service side, we do plan to have in-game GMs. We do plan to. So uh, the risk and reward system with the griefing is has nothing to do with Steven. You are just linking things 
to that uh, make make no sense um, to to make people feel you are uh, in charge and uh, you know uh, your job okay L look at your face you are like a, a red pepper <laughs> service people in the best way possible and we will grow our service team as much as we need at breed Steven breed it's like it seems like you are you are like uh, paralyzed you, you uh, I mean I see that as our player base grows um, obviously right now <laughs> don't need as many folks in the in those roles but um, as we do grow that is something that we're we're very focused on and yeah. um, if you haven't seen already how we've been interacting with people on the service side when it comes to like community management and customer service um, and so on oh yes we are doing all good if you didn't see how we do things we um, it's not their fault okay because when you start something believing in you believe in something yeah, and no one tells you uh, that such thing is, is wrong okay it's not even m much their fault but they uh, that they simply uh, fall in uh, this uh, illusion because no no one help, help, helps them okay so uh, I am helping uh, you to understand, okay? Because people's in the words uh, always misunderstand uh, work. I mean, having fun with the work, okay? And uh, I mean, they always misunderstand good work with the bad work. And those poor guys have a, a, a lot of peoples that believe in them and push them in the in this wrong direction. That uh, simply other people that don't, doesn't don't understand what they are saying or doing. It's just like the hype uh, dumb train, okay, of uh, <laughs> uh, of. Uh, people that wo want to go somewhere uh, it's like the uh, the Pinocchio film where when they go in the park and then they become uh, animals uh, something like that so you lie to the people the people lie to you and I mean, it's my responsibility to uh, give you, uh, show you uh, the truth, okay? So now I'm going to stop because I, I, I mean, this video is very long and I didn't meant to talk too much, I always end up uh, this way. And uh, I will make a second video and uh, have fun. Bye bye.